Hello, this is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and today I am back with a programming video. This time I'm going to be teaching you how to make a QR code generator. Now, this I'm using the programming language Swift because, unlike um, my previous videos where I use Objective C, I'm using Swift 3 for this tutorial. Xcode 8 to be precise. Now, what this simple app is, so let's type in hello for example. What this does is it will generate a QR code for um, anything you type in here. So let's say, we say we press generate. It will generate a QR code for the word hello. Or let's say I'm gonna do my YouTube channel name. So let's do XX Raphael Productions, the name of my the name of my YouTube channel. And when I generate that, it is it will um, generate the QR code for for the word XX Raphael Productions. So yeah, it's a simple app to make. Um, pretty um, it's pretty helpful if you wanna um, if you wanna generate a QR code for a word. And um, you can also install it on your, on your phone as well, and it's gonna be, it'll be pretty useful for your everyday life, probably. So yeah, let's start this tutorial right now. Alright, so jumping back into Xcode, we're gonna go over here and click on create a new Xcode project. And we want a single, uh, single view application, and we're gonna hit next. And this, the product name, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call mine, um, QR code gener, gen tutorial. Again, as usual, call yours whatever you um, want or whatever you fancy. And this time, instead of Objective C, we're gonna set it to Swift, because that is the programming language that we're gonna be using for this um, entire tutorial for today. And device is gonna be a uh, universal. And we're gonna hit next. I'm gonna save it up in my coding workspace folders. And so we have created our project. So over here under our device orientation. Unselect landscape left and landscape right, and uh, tick portrait mode and tick requires full screen. Okay, so let's go over here to our view con main the storyboard first. And in here we're gonna um we're gonna um design the user interface. So let's get let me get rid of the screen first. If your one is uh, if your one is showing that, just simply click this. Okay. So first thing we're going to drag in is our text field, so search up text field in here. Drag that in and I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to make it at maybe around this size, yeah that's perfect. And then the button, the generate button will be on, on the right. So search up UI button and then drag the button up over here. I'm going to name this generate and make sure that's big enough for our um, person to touch that this text field over here, Let me, I'll probably bring that down a little bit okay and then we can have a label over here, that's dragging a label and this will say simple QR code generator and I can, I'm gonna make that big enough so that the user can see that, I'm gonna um, center that center it so, it's, so it looks good I'll resize that just a tiny bit as well maybe like this, alright so there, there we go. So that is, so that is um, what we need for now. We need to now look for a UI image view. So go over here and search UI image view, and we're gonna drag this over here, and make sure it is a square because we want our QR, we want our QR code to be shaped like a square. So let's probably make it um the height is 225 as well, it's like that, and this will be straight here in the middle. So what happens is once we type anything in this text in this text field and we hit the generate button, then this image view will sh will um show the QR code itself. So let's um go over here to our, uh to this. We're gonna bring up our um editor, and we're gonna drag in our um image view. So let's make some space here. We go there, drag in our image view, and that's gonna be an outlet. So I'm gonna call it um image view QR. And you connect that. I'm gonna um, do the same thing for our text field and our button. So text field will be called a UI text field, or simply as code text field actually. And then connect that. And now the button, however, instead of instead it's gonna be an action. So under here, go to connection, go to action. This will be called button. So let's see, button gen. Actually, let's make it. Let's make the name a little bit more interesting. Connect that. And space that out so we can um, write some code in between this. Okay, and th this label over here, we don't have to do anything, it's just there for show. 
So it's command S to save just in case X Club crashes because it, it actually crashed last time. Um, let's do now. We're gonna do an if statement. So let's do if let my string equals, and we're gonna call this um we're gonna do um text field dot text. Now this text field of text has to be whatever you called your IB outlet. So I called mine text field. Depending on what your one is called, you'll 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 type whatever your one is called and type it in here. I so still for this instance I called mine as text field. I'm gonna make that a make that space and now we're gonna um we're gonna add in a constant called data. So data equals my string dot data and using dot a s c i i and then comma and in space allow l o s s y conversion i don't know how you pronounce it lousy i don't know false so that we're gonna set allow lousy conversion to false I'm, I'm again sorry if i mispronounced that i don't know how you pronounce this part of the word um okay so i'm gonna i'm just gonna zoom it in so that it's easy easier for you guys to see to check it out and then we're gonna we're gonna add in a filter so let filter space equals space c i uh, filter then bracket name and it's got our string is going to be called um c i q r code generator and then end that up and then now the last the last thing we're going to do for now is filter add in a question mark and i'm going to do dot set value let me set this one over here this very first option set value and then we're gonna do data and then for key is gonna be we're gonna we're gonna put uh, two brackets no not two but two speech marks here first and then we're gonna do input message like so just like that and we're gonna um we're gonna um, do again let img and in space equals space ui image now this is the Im this is the image view itself so bracket and we're gonna do ci image space then we're gonna do bracket filter oops let me type that incorrectly filter question mark dot out put image there we go so now we're gonna click this over here and we're gonna press enter it's gonna add in it's gonna automatically add in that um this uh, exclamation mark over here will automatically be added in you can add it in manually if you wanted to, but I just um, couldn't be bothered, so I just decided to let Xcode do its work. So the, now, underneath this, we're gonna last do image image view QR. So image view QR dot image space equals space IMG. Now this has to be this has to match whatever you call this, and the image view QR has to match whatever you call this one as well. Or else it will not work. Xcode will give you an error because it it hasn't been declared. Okay, so yeah, that is so that's that's done for for now. Let's um, I'm gonna set the simulator to the iPhone seven because this default um the default size is for the iPhone seven portrait. So we're gonna um command S to save that. This thing should turn white. I'm gonna I'm gonna build and run and let's check out the application. So wait for that to build and run. It's building. It build succeeded. Okay, let's see my simulator. My look. okay, here it is. There we go. So I said before that I we put the label simple QR card QR code generator. I'm, I'm sorry. Then the text field we added a text field in earlier. So let's type in um, QR code, and let me click generate. There you go. So let's try, for example, hello world. We generate that. We autocorrect. Generate. And yeah, unfortunately, it might show. It might show kind of pixelated. But yeah, that is a QR code generator all finished. So to just finish things off, let's press stop now. And so there you have it, people. That is the QR code generator all finished. Um, thank you all very much for watching once again. Um, this is this is a very fun thing to make. Um. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.